everybody. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Evangelist Claire Revealed, the founder of Women of Women After God's Heart International Intercessory Ministries. Today I am coming live to you from the Majesty Christian TV Network. And I'm going to be sharing a word of God with you today. And I believe it's a very plain one. Amen. So um, I have given it the title, Your Blessing is Already in the House. And before I go further, I just want to declare over your life that your small shall be great in the hands of our Lord Jesus Christ. But um, before we go into the word, I just want to take a minute to pray with you. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this day. We glorify you. We lift you up, Father, because there is none like you. I thank you for this moment, God, for this privilege, God. We ask you, Father God, to bless the viewers, to bless your word, increase it, and bury me behind the cross of your son, Jesus Christ. I pray for a fresh anointing, for the boldness to speak your word with clarity. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen and amen. You know, um, I want to start with you by reading the word of God. Let's go to the book of Kings, Second Kings chapter 4. We are going to be reading from verse 1 up to 7. Amen. I'm going to read. One day the widow of a member of the group of prophets came to Elisha and cried out, My husband who serve you is dead. And you know how he feared the Lord. But now a creditor has come and threatening to take my two sons as slaves. What can I do to help? Elisha asked. Tell me what do you have in the house? Nothing at all except a flask of oil, she replied. And Elisha said, borrow as many jars as you can from your friends and neighbors. Then go into your house and with your sons and shut the door behind you. Pour olive oil from your flax into the jars, setting each one aside with when it is filled, until it is filled. So she did as she was told. Her sons kept bringing jars to her, and she filled one after another. Soon every container was full to the brim. Bring me another jar, she said to one of her sons. There aren't any more, he replied. And then the olive oil stopped flowing. When she told the man of God what had happened, he said to her, Now sell the olive oil and pay your debts, and you and your son can live with what is left over. You know, this is such a powerful word of God. You know, as children of God, we all have something that God can use. But most of the time, we are ignorant of those things. And even when we are aware of them, we, we underestimate the value of, of what we already have and I think it is because we are also underestimating our God forgot forgetting that our God is a mighty God He's, he is a God who can take a nobody and turn them into somebody our God is a God who can take a nothing and make it into something our God is a, a God who can take you know something that people have thrown away and make something magnificent out of it our God is a big God and sometimes we are just paralyzed by fear and I believe we are paralyzed by fear because we have lost our faith we have lost our belief in God and um, if we could just come as children of God to a place where we really start to believe God again I believe we will never be afraid to step out of nothing and create something I believe we'll never be afraid to take something little and lift it up to God and believe that God can do something great with our little most of the times what we see are impossibilities and then um, remember in the book of Mark 9 23 Jesus says all things are possible to him that believes and all things means all things there is nothing left out of it amen by ourselves it could be impossible like the, like the word of God says but we've got to remember with God all things are possible and sometimes I speak to people and they tell me about their dreams they talk to me about their visions the things they want to accomplish but then they said we well, you know where well, I can't and I'm like what do you mean you can the Bible has already declared you and I we can do all all things through Christ Jesus which strengthens us amen so the question today is what is that thing that God is pressing upon your heart for you to do what is that vision where is that that dream that you have the things you want to accomplish what is it 
what is stopping you from going after your dreams what is stopping you from going after your vision is it fear if fear is the issue that you have to remember according to the book of uh, 1 Timothy 1 7 the Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of power the spirit of love and of sound mind amen so it's important for us to feed our spirit to speed our mind to feed our mind with the Word of God and meditate on the word daily like jo God said to Joshua in, in Joshua 1 it is you, you must meditate the Word of God shall not depart away from us amen so it's very important to meditate on the word of God daily encourage yourself in the times of discouragement like the, the man of God did David he encouraged himself in the in the Lord sometimes fear may come things may come to try to paralyze you but you've got to declare the word of God over your life you have to say I can do all things through Christ Jesus which strengthens me greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world no weapon form against me can shall ever prosper I can do all things you know because my God is in me with God all things are possible also remember the Bible says those who know their God they shall be strong and do exploit and that is your word hallelujah somebody so it's important to build your faith but one of the ways the Bible has taught us how to build up our faith is to listen to the word of God the word of God says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we've got to listen to the word of God. You, and the people you surround yourself with also is very important. You know, do not surround yourself with negative people, but surround yourself with like faith people, people who believe in your God, people who believe in you, people who can buy into your vision, people who can encourage you and support you in that which God wants to do in your life. So the next thing I want to talk about is starting with what you have or starting with what you already have within you or at home. Like I said earlier, do not ever underestimate what you already have. No matter how little it is, do not underestimate it. For I have declared in the beginning that with God, your small shall be plenty. Amen. We just need to come to the place of faith. The place that we, we believe God no matter what. Remember when you are about to do anything, there are always seasons and, and, and times. Time and season is very important in everything we want to do and there are steps to take there is a process connected in accomplishing anything we ever want to do so you've got to remember that but what i want to encourage you is to start with where you are start where you are and start with whatsoever you have for example maybe god is placing upon your heart to start a business and you don't have the capital for it you know that should not stop you nothing should hinder you but the point is you already have something an idea is what you already have the passion to do it is what you already have i believe everybody should have a pen and a paper so you have that so so what you have to do start writing down your business plan you know start and doing some investigation uh, investigation search out you know the things about the business meet people who are doing the business you want to do eventually in the future ask some questions gain some knowledge gain some wisdom and understanding what you can also do is search out the location you can go around and look what is where is the best place for you to to place your business in the future who do you need to work with you in that business and they, that Target group is also something you want to do a research about. Do you want to work with young people, old people, whatever? You need to search your target group. So those are steps that you can already take. And do not be like, oh, well, I'm just starting small. You know, when you start to do those things, what you are doing now is actually paving the way to eventually meet your goals in the future. And the Bible says in Zechariah 14, he said, do not despise the day of small beginning. God is happy to see that the work has begun so you need to also rejoice that you are starting something you know don't just focus on all the things you need have to do but enjoy the process as well because it is a learning for you to also gain during that process you know um, I love a word in the book of Job 8 and 7 it says though you start with little at the end you will have much more that's a word for somebody though you start with little at the end you will end with much more 
And so what happens is as you move forward with God, God is going to reveal the plans to you eventually step by step. So don't be so focused on getting everything together from the beginning. Just keep moving with what you have. The Bible says that in Proverbs 16, 9, that we make our plans, but God is the one who guides our steps. He said also commit your plans in the hands of God, Proverbs 16, 3. Commit your, hands in the, your plans in the hands of God and he shall make it to prosper and God will establish your work. Amen. So it is very, very important to do those things. And in the process of you trying to reach your goal, you are going to have moments of failure, but it doesn't matter. Don't see failure as something to, to beat yourself about. No. Failure at that moment when you fail is just the chance for you to do it better the next time. Do it more better the next time. It's an opportunity given to you to search out more things so you come out as a giant. Amen. I, I love what a man of God says once. He said, a man does not fail when he falls, but a man fails when he quits so whatever happens my brother my sister do not quit you know you get back up and you keep pressing forward so um god is going to guide the steps i've, I've already said that and remember the steps of a good man they are ordered by the Lord, and the Lord delights in his way so leave that up to god maybe you are somebody also that God is asking you to, to sing in the worship choir, you know, in, in the church. And you are saying, no, I don't have the right voice for it. I, my voice is not all perfect. I cannot hit all the notes. It doesn't matter. Start with what you have. God knew about the quality of your voice before he called you to go and worship. Amen. What God has seen is you, in you is the spirit of worship, is the desire to release the presence of God. That is what you have. The voice will come later when God starts to pour his anointing anointing upon it. I always say this, like Hollywood, they are full of talents, people who can sing and give people goosebumps, but those things do not help anybody. It's just for the moment. But what God is looking for is uh, uh, I, I, uh, anointing. The anointing is what makes the difference. The anointing is what breaks the yoke. And that's what God wants to pour upon your voice so you can release his glory and usher other people into his presence. So do not underestimate the quality of your voice. God is going to use it. Just place it in the, in the hands of the master. Hallelujah. My next question is, or you know, no, I, I have something else that I want to share. Maybe also there are people who want to start a baby care and you are thinking, no, I don't have everything. What do you mean you don't have everything? You have a home. Amen. And you have the time. So what you can do is start to go to schools and give out invitation to parents and tell them that you would like to and take care of their children amen and you can go to supermarkets and place advertisement and allow people to bring their children to your home and you can start to use the money to educate yourself to have the qualification that you need to become you know that um, a person who has a daycare those are things that you can do hallelujah so um at times you may have some things in the house and you don't even know about them it is very important if you don't know what you have to prayerfully ask the Holy Spirit to highlight those things in, your, in you, within your house, so you can be aware of them. Before we go further, um, there are some few points I just want to share with you as we go back to the Bible, the word we just read from Second Kings um, and chapter 4 from verse 1 to 7. There are some key things I want to point out. You know, um, when in, in verse 2, when the man of God asked the woman, what do you have in the house? You see, what the woman said was, she said, I have nothing except a, a, a flask of oil, a bit of oil. You know, she dismissed, actually, she was dismissing what she had because she lacked the discernment, hallelujah, somebody, to know that that thing is the, is the doorway to the breakthrough she was looking for. But thank God for men and women of God who can see and believe in our God, even when we are in a place where we cannot see anything. So she dismisses, just like most of us we do. We we'll say, you know, all I have is my voice. All I have is this or all I have is that. But God knows that he can do miracles with that little that you have. In verse 3, what we also see is um, um, the man of God said to her, Go and borrow containers 
Go and borrow containers from your neighbors and from your friends. Why would a man of God ask her to go and borrow anything? Because you know in life, no matter how great you are, no matter how big you are, how talented, how wonderful. Remember the story, the woman was in a group of prophets who used to um, also minister with the, the Elisha, the great man of God. They, 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 they took care of him also. So perhaps she has gotten a kind of statue, you know. She, she has gotten the feeling of, I am big. She was not cooperating with other people, with friends. She has abandoned them, limited herself only to her environment. But now there was a new season in her house, and she got to learn how to be humble again. She, God was trying to see, how bad do you want your blessing? Do you want it so bad that you are willing to do whatever it takes? You are willing to humble yourself. The spirit of humility is what God is looking for when he wants to take us into a, a new season. And no matter how great you are in doing anything, you will always need people. What I'm trying to say, networking is important. Amen. But you have to use discernment to know who are the right people and who are the people you need to not bother yourself with. So that's one of the lessons the man of God was trying to teach this woman. And in verse 4, um, the man of God said to her, when you come in with your son, shut the door behind you why because you know sometimes we talk too much sometimes we release or reveal things and too soon and god was trying to teach this woman that when you leave the door open you can leave the door open for the spirit of doubt to come in the spirit of confusion to come in the spirit of fear can start to come in and negative people you've got to shut the door for negative people not to come in amen you have to build in private and when the spirit of god releases you to to let the people know what you are doing then you can do it and nowadays this i've even gotten to know that people also steal the visions of other people so you don't you don't want that you know you have to protect what god has given you amen and the right time you can take it out we are wrapping up right now but i just want to reveal what also happened in matthew 14 from verse 15 we are not going to read it to 20 because of time jesus and the disciples Jesus Christ and his disciples. I'm just going to summarize the story. It came to pass that a multitude, they were with Jesus Christ for a, for a long time, and then they got hungry. The first thing the disciples said to them was, you have to go to the village to look for food. But Jesus Christ was moved by compassion for these people, you know. And he said, no, do not send them away. Let them stay here. And the disciples said to Jesus, but we don't have nothing to feed them. You know, we have just five loaves of bread and two fishes. Jesus said, bring those things to me. When, when, when they brought it to Jesus Christ... Jesus Christ lifted it to God and he began to pray and the Father blessed it. And we know the story that finally 5,000 men beside children and women were fed from five um, um, loaves of bread and two fishes. That's the power of God. That's the power when we release things to God. In the book we just read also concerning the woman, when she was pouring out her oil, the Bible told us that they kept bringing container. That little oil she was underestimating. But at the word of God, we've got to believe the word of God. When God said, do it, don't doubt it, don't question God, just do it, just believe. When she started to pour out and obey the word of the prophet you see she had so much that she could pay all her debts and take care of herself and her children later we also see jesus christ here doing the same thing from that fish and bread the multitude were able to eat you see so it's important to release i am closing but i want to declare over your life today as you are watching we are speaking today to you live from majesty christian tv network it is a network that god has called for such a time as this to reach nations to reach people you you've got to come back to hear more and more but i just want to pray for you and believe god for your breakthrough i believe that as this word comes into you as a seed today we are sowing a seed into your life your life will never Never be the same. I declare in the name of Jesus, your small shall be plenty in the hands of God. And though you start with little, you will end up with much more. And greater is he that is in you, that he that is in the world. You can, you can, my brother, man of God, woman of God, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthen you. We bless today and we pray you come back again and check also majesty tv they have so many videos online on youtube you really want to check that is going to bless your life thank you so much god bless you